begin in five, four, three, two, one, and go. 360. Nice and smooth. You guys can stick with me or find your own page here. I can see everybody, so if anyone's struggling, I'll be able to help you out. Good, nice, Robbie. Those are looking pretty solid, man. Excellent lift and dunk. Good. Nice, Jackie. How are those feeling today? Um, I'm still learning. Still learning? Cool. We all are. 360 is going to always be improved no longer, no matter how long you've been doing them for. What I'd like you to do is go ahead and point your top finger. Good. Now I'm going to lift that grip unit up to the opposite shoulder so that finger is pointing down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like blocking this in front of my face. So as I lift up, I should actually be able to block over my eyes. Yeah, you see how that smooths out your dunk a bit? Oh, boom. Nice job. Okay, we're still swinging in the same direction. Oh. Out of our next 360, bottom hand catches into position number two. Good. Stack our hands. 360 the opposite direction. Nice, Trevor. Those will be good. How's your shoulder feeling? Good, yeah, dude. Good. Good. Kelly, you're getting those nice and low behind your head. Nice work. Nice work. Looking really smooth, too, Anna. Whenever I see you guys on a gallery view, I admit it's really tempting to identify you by where you at my view. Like I want to say, like Anna, you're doing great up in the top left corner. <laughs> Go for Just it. On the bottom right. <laughs> Does anyone want to guess who's in the middle? <sighs> Not me. Me. Shut up. What? <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> Is it you? <laughs> Not me. Shelly. Shelly's in the middle. <sighs> Trevor, you're on the side, you're right under Anna, right above Michelle. I hope this is distracting you from how much we've been playing, guys. We are now going to take this down to position number two, auto hand catch. Good. From here, I'm going to let the tail swing under to mid guard. Good. Now I'm going to swing the tail back up. Switch sides. Let the tail swing under. Mid guard. Good. Back up. Switch sides. Tail swing under. Back and forth. Just like this. Try to let the tail come down to perfectly straight and back up. See if you can control it to not pass that point. Nice job. Good. On our next rest, we're going to take this across our bodies, across our center line, to cross the block. We're going to rotate our shoulders back so our opposite hand is reaching behind us. Good. From here, we'll bring it back up to position number two. Switch over to cross block. Good. Stand up. Switch. Cross block. Nice work, everybody. Taking it nice and slow. Hips stay forward. So we're counter rotating as our chest and shoulders rotate. Hips stay forward. Guys, we are now going to add in a step two, a lateral lunge in the direction of the globe. Good. Come up. Switch sides. Step out. Nice work, everybody. Keep this pace nice and slow. Not rushing it too much. One option we have with this cross block is we can reach around with our back arm or if you have a martial arts background, I like to bring this up and guard my face. I've got my palm up in front of my face. I just feel like that's a cool position. It really speaks to my inner ninja. Still establishing the same rotation, though. We can't just bring our hands up and keep our chest forward. We have to still rotate. Nice job, Jackie. Go ahead, Ellie. Guys, we are now in the next rep. Going to pivot. Fully. So now I'm in a front lunge. From here, I'm going to sink down, find the ground. Right now, we're just going to connect our legs to the ground, come back up into a lateral lunge. 
Nice job. Up. Switch side. Cross block. Pivot. Find the ground. Lateral launch. Come up. Cross block. Lateral launch. Find the ground. Now, we're just going to shift. Rotate right to the ground. One smooth movement. Come up. Low shift to the opposite side. Switch right into cross block. Boom. Now, from here, I'm going to kick the one foot back. So I'm now in a loaded beat, or what we'll affectionately call it make down. I'm now going to perform a row. Digging the handle into the ground right by my foot, I'm going to roll the globe up to my shoulder, set it down, replace my foot by my hand, and come back up into our lateral launch. Low shift. Cross block. Find the ground. Eight animal. Row. Place the foot. Up. Low switch to the opposite side. Handle swings under as we pivot and find the ground. Now seamlessly moving through these movements. Still taking it nice and slow, guys. We've been moving for some number of minutes. We're going to add to this, guys, on our next rep. Mace finds the ground. I find my loaded beast. We row the mace up. We're now going to pivot and switch underneath it to a crab position. And we'll go ahead and extend all the way up to the front. Stack in our shoulders. Bring it back down. Handle into the ground. Back to mace animal. Replace our foot. Come up to our lateral lunge. Shift to the opposite side, pivot, find the animal, roll the globe, sit under, press up to the sky, back down, unwind, replace the foot, back to a lateral lunge. Woo! Chris, that lever might be a little different for you based on the length of your handle. No need to rush here, guys. You all know I like to say groundwork is like trying to breathe underwater. So take a nice, big, deep breath before you go down there. Think about this as educational breath to be learning. Just get the sequence. We're just going to do this one a couple more times. One more on each side. Take these last reps nice and slow. Treasure these moments before it goes away. Go to this globe. Switch under. Press up. Switch the foot. One final low switch. Find your animal. Roll the blow. Sit under. One final press extension. Bring it back down. Handle foot off the ground. Sit under. Replace the foot. Back up to a lateral one. Switch up to position number two. Now I'm going to take my globe and lower it, lifting the handle. The side guard, finally, to our over-under cradle position. Good. So your elbow will slide up by the globe grip. Yeah. Just like this. Good. Now I'm going to lower the handle. Take my hand back up to the end. From here, passing through position number two, switching to the other side. Dropping the globe half and through side guard. Back to my cradle position. Nice work, everybody. Let's unwind. All the way to the other side. Unwind, pass through to the other side. Good work. 
Guys, I know I said no breaks, but it should go without saying that if you need water, if you need to take a break during this madness, please feel free. Excellent job. Now, as I unwind, passing through crossbody top here, this hand is going to slide up to the top of the mace. I'm going to extend an arrow. From here, I'm going to lower the globe. Bring this back to cradle. Unwind. As I pass through cross body top, bottom hand slides up, arrow to the opposite side. Good. Lower the globe. Establish our cradle. Unwind the opposite side. Lift the handle, lower the globe. Get to cradle, guys, from here. Let's take a squat. As we come up, we'll unwind with our arrow. One smooth movement. Good. Bring it back to cradle, squat, unwind, very good, back to cradle, squat, unwind, we're now going to add a step to our arrow, one of my favorite steps to add with an arrow is a reverse crossover lunge, so as I put the arrow out over my left side, my right foot is going to reverse crossover, Good. Lower the globe. Back to cradle. And do a squat. Unwind. Arrow is our step four. Good. Opposite foot steps towards the globe. Nice and slow. Squat. Unwind. Step the arrow. Nice work. Guys, we're just going to do this one a couple more times. Excellent step four, everybody. Over the base. Cradle squat. Come up, unwind one final. Step four. And let's bring it back to our cradle position. Now, my top arm is going to come up. Circle back behind me. I'm going to make a little room at the end of my maze here. You know, I've pinched my fingers in like I'm chopping vegetables. I'm making enough room for my opposite hand to come, grab, and send an arrow. Good. From here, we'll bring it back to position two. Switch sides. Go into our cradle position. Elbow comes high around. Boom. We're doing the same side a couple more times. Hand comes up around, grabs right by the globes, extends that hidden arrow. Good. One more time. One smooth movement. Good. Now we'll lower the globe. Passing to our cradle on the opposite side. Make oh. room. Opposite hand swims under, extends the hidden arrow. Good. Switch. Lower the globe. Lift the handle. Cradle under. Extend the hidden arrow. Boom. Nice job, guys. Lower the globe. Now we alternate. Lower the globe in the cradle. I. Now. As I extend my hidden arrow, I'm going to step out, step two, lateral lunge, over my bent leg, come back up to neutral, step two with the arrow, good, lower the globe, back to neutral, step two with the arrow, now, let's skip the neutral, just shifting from side to side, lower the globe, lift the handle, All right, guys, we're going to do one more each side. Last one. Good. Now let's come up to cradle. Similar thing is going to happen here. We're going to make room at the end of our base. Might need to make a little more room on this one because I'm not going to use my hand. 
I'm going to use my elbow. Guys, that was the timer. Um, <laughs> hold on. We're going to go for the 15 <laughs> Who saw that coming? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so my opposite arm is now going to come swim back. I'm going to hit the mate right in the crook of my elbow and create this tension right here. So now I'll have the globe right in the crook of my elbow. You'll notice that as I take my opposite handle hand away, the handle starts to lower. As I clear it out of the way, the mace comes almost totally to the ground, and I'm free to grab it almost right up by the globe and extend an arrow. Hmm. Very good. We we'll lower the mace back to cradle. Practice the same side a couple of times. Swim the thumb girl. Collect your mace. Clear the hand. Extend your arrow. Nice, Ellie. Good. We'll do one more, and then we'll add a switch. Excellent. So now we're going to bring it back to position number two. Switch to the opposite side. Lower the globe, lift the handle. Take it to our cradle, swing the arm back. Collect it into your elbow. Clear your hand. Extend an arrow. Nice work, guys. Back to position two. Switch. Into cradle. Over. Arrow. Good. Back to two. Switch. Cradle. Over. Up to an arrow. This time, guys, let's add a balance. So we're going to bring it to a cradle. Swing it over. Now, as I extend my arrow over my right side, my left leg is going to come up to a tree. Good. We'll bring it back. Switch to cradle. Swim it over. Catch the elbow. Up to tree. Good. Bring it back. Switch. Cradle. Elbow bump into your arrow bounce. Nice work. We'll do one more each side and we'll take a break. Cradle. Up to bounce. Thank you. 